All right, this game is called The Cursed Tape. Uh, I downloaded it, I don't know, months ago and forgot about it. And then someone recommended it and I was like, shit, I think I have that game. So here we are playing The Cursed Tape. There's no main menu. You just load right into the game. Game looks nice. I like the light rays coming through the window. Is that what I think it is in the darkness? Is that what I think I see? Is that a bench press looking back at me? Ah, oh, yes. Even in the dark, I can sniff out the weights. I love how the, the weight bench is propping up their boxes of french fries. That's how you do it. That's the secret to getting big. Everybody talks about protein. We don't talk enough about french fries. Pizza, man, I got some burgers. Fuck, dude. I didn't even get to eat before I streamed, so now I'm seeing this shit and I'm just getting hungrier. Oh, shit, here we go. Okay, so someone slid us a tape. I'm assuming this is cursed. Put the tape in the VCR. The cursed tape. Okay, so I guess that room did serve as a main menu. Ah, shit! Dude, I, like, I saw the foot. I thought there was someone laying here. After uh, further examination, dude, it's a fucking... It's a head with a foot and a hand for ears. His eyeball popping out like Glenn from The Walking Dead and uh, a butcher knife stuck in his head. A meat cleaver. I'll take that. Oh, shit. Do we get to kill some motherfuckers? All right, we'll use this to cut that. They had to save on cutting animations. <laughs> Look, you heard the sound. It's good enough. Okay, so this looks totally different than the main screen, than the menu screen. Because now it's switched to like a found footage game. All right, got some body parts, got a brain and a bowl. Jeffrey Dahmer, the game. Now, when we loaded in, I did see something over here. There was like a monster standing there, but then the head with the hand foot ears caught my attention. So I don't know where that monster went. Now we got a valve wheel. Okay, it's officially a horror game. We have a bigger valve wheel. Definitely a horror game. And then I turn, there's like a massive valve wheel. They keep getting bigger. They like their valve wheels. I don't know if these are actually puzzles. Dude, imagine a horror game where like all of this, all these things are puzzles that we have to come back to later. That would be awesome. I doubt it. Dude, because of the lack of puzzles that we see in horror games lately, I wouldn't mind a game that's just like overflowing with puzzles with a frustrating amount of puzzles i mean it looks great but i don't think these actually function for anything i got some red light over here i keep seeing if there's anything i can pick up i haven't seen anything we can actually interact with uh we're going up but i think we have to go to that door below us dude i'm, I'm waiting like just the the fuck is that I, I cannot see anything down there. I was looking for movement. All right. Well, moving along in the opposite direction. Oh, shit. We got a body here. Got a body and nothing to interact with. I thought this was like a... I don't know what this was. I, I thought maybe it was like a camcorder or something laying there. All right, so we have a dead body. Oh, dude, I, I was waiting. I thought I thought for sure because there's nothing to do here. I thought it was just a distraction. You know, you get to the dead end, you turn around, boom, jump scare. Can't pick up the hard hat. Uh, no swinging chains, guys. Got to take some points off. You know how big of a fan I am of swinging chains in horror games. Dude, nothing over here. A lot of dead ends. Okay. There's definitely something down there and it sounds like someone's eating something. You know, part of me hopes that there's actually something down there and it's not just ambient sounds because that sounds... It sounds terrifying. And I'm afraid to go down. <laughs> I don't want to go down these stairs. 
I dude, I haven't seen anything. No signs of life other than audio. Alright, I think we came from that direction, right? Yeah, I think we came from that direction. We have two stairs to go down. <sighs> I'm gonna delay the inevitable and go this way. Dude, they must have had a discount on chains at Home Depot. Were we over here? Oh, you know what? We were over here. This is where we came from. Okay, so we went up this staircase. All right, so we have to go down this one. All right, we got some activity behind this wall. Baby steps, Tony Peaks. No, dude, I, I could hear whatever we heard earlier, like eating something. I could hear that and then the flies buzzing around. I thought that was a, uh, a sign of a dead body. Oh, well, fuck. Here you go. Dead body, you say? What kind of time frame you looking for? Because this one's been here for a while. Or not. No. I was thinking like, oh, it's a skeleton. It really decomposed. Dude, that's like fresh blood. So whatever ate this thing, pick the fucking bones clean in a short amount of time. Now the problem is... Where do we go? The light is blinking on that door down there. That's got to be the way to go. Dude, I don't know where to fucking go. Every area is blocked off and there was nothing this way. Dude, there's got to be... Something of significant... Dude. There, the body that was laying here is gone. So, did it get up and walk away? Are we dealing with zombies? Or did whatever kill it come back for more and uh, pick those bones clean as well? That's where we came from. You know what? We didn't go this way. I don't think. No. Okay. First sign of the monster. We have a pickaxe up here. Don't mind if I do. Oh, it, actually, it's like a regular axe. I just saw the the other side of it. I thought it was a pickaxe. Suddenly, I feel a little safer knowing I have a weapon. What the fuck is that? Dude, I just heard... I mean, I heard the growl, but I also heard little tiny footsteps, like, coming up from behind. Thought we were under attack. Okay, can I use the axe to chop through the door? Here we go. Right through it. All right. Uh, did I know this body was here? I'm backtracking. And I don't remember seeing this body on our way in. I feel like I would have noticed that. It seems like this game has a lot of go here and then turn around and go back the way you came. But when you go back the way you came... <laughs> When you go back the way you came, they throw new stuff at you. For example. <sighs> this tape is cursed. Oh, shit. Why? Okay, now we got swinging chains. Why were the other ones not swinging? It's like the game heard me. Oh, shit. He pointed out our stationary chains. Then the dev like hops in the in the game real quick and like recodes the chains. I didn't know Swole was playing this game tonight. If I would have known, I would have made the chains swingable. All right. Well, again, we're back in an area that we were already in. Over here is where that body was propped up against the burning barrel. Okay. Okay. We have an axe. I just remembered <laughs> all that axe talk. So we should be able to use the axe to break through something. We get through this. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking there's going to be a spot where we can um, break down like a wall or something. Well, now we're heading back to where we first came in. And I'm wondering if there was something back this way. How do we get to that right there? I feel like... There's a lot of splashing going on. I feel like we have to be able to access that somehow. We were over in that direction. Yeah, dude, I don't know. It's like right in front of us and we can't get to it. Oh! Alright, 
Can we use the axe on this door? You know, I don't think we went this way unless this takes us back. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did go this way, but we didn't go this way. We went that way, and it, it's just a big loop. Well, what the fuck am I doing with this axe? I will say, this game has a very, very good tone. Oh, shit! Okay. Dude, we just had to go over there and get the axe and whatever else. That, that's all we really did over there. To come all the way back here and chop through the chain. I wouldn't be surprised if we chop through this chain and then they take our axe. As predicted. Oh. It's a pull, not a push. Oh my god, dude. Like, whatever this thing is, it just sounds massive. And it knows how to whistle. Oh my god, man. I keep waiting for one of these lockers to like burst open. Oh, dude. <laughs> I, I, before I could react, I noticed it wasn't alive. I, I saw it was a dummy. But for a split second, I was about to freak out. You good, bro? Okay, before I open that up, let me just look over here real quick. Okay. Yeah, nothing over here. All right, let's push this locker out of the way. Like, he, this isn't one of those things where you turn your back and they move, I don't think. So, like, my assumption is that something is moving him. Because if that was the case, he'd already be attacking us right now. Or maybe he's just very patient. Can I push that back? <laughs> Can I close that off so he can follow us? What the fuck, dude? like that all right I said that maybe uh... okay so the mannequin is moving on its own and it's whistling that that's the mannequin whistling okay, he's uh, he's really fast there's, there he is again. Oh, guys, it's cool. He just wants a hug. There, there you go. See, guys, he's not so bad. He's a friendly evil mannequin. Is he alive, though? Like, what's all that shit? He's got, like, blood pumping through him. What's all that goddamn racket? He moved. Mannequin moved. He's all the way over there now. Now we will go over there, but I'm going to find out what all this commotion is up here. Jesus, God. Dog, get the fuck off. Uh, I'm guessing we have to find something. Maybe like a crowbar. Something to help us open that. He's a synth. Yes, and I only get that joke because I finally played Fallout 4 like three months ago. Yeah, 
I'm the one who knocks. I robot looks like human flesh. Well, when we first saw him, he didn't have that human eyeball. And then when we just saw him now, he had a human eyeball and it looked like giant like arteries like uh, wrapping around him. So maybe every time we see him, he, he turns more human like. Oh, he's in a cage. All right. Oh, nothing we can use here. He's <laughs> take it, take it. Take my car keys. I parked around back. It's a 2001 Honda Accord. You can't miss it. It belonged to my grandma. She left it to me in her will. Before you laugh, it is the V6 model. Okay. Nothing wrong with Honda Accords. They're very nice cars. Hondas last forever. Very, very good, responsible choice when selecting a vehicle. Take my keys. Like, part of me says run. And the other part of me says, hey, let's stay and find out what happens. <laughs> Sounds like a giant pig. Pig monster. The fuck? No, it's a fuck! You came back to me. No! Oh! Wait, is is that a different one? That's a different one. Man, dude, man bear pig. Yeah, I think you nailed it. The villain of this game is in fact man bear pig. Yeah, dude, so this is a different statue. Dude, how creepy is that? He is looking at you, kid. Now, I guess the key will help us push the door open. I mean, we get it's already like kind of opened. God damn, dude. He's like, hey, don't mind me. I'm just following you, man. I want to get out of here just like you. I don't want any trouble. I won't cause any problems. Dude, I w the audio in this game is so good. Like all the ambient noises really builds the atmosphere. Dude, I'm ready to see this monster, like whatever the fuck it is. Anybody over there? Nothing. Uh, wait, I can jump? Kind of. I don't know if that's a, is that a jump? He just kind of shakes a little bit. Yeah, no, I don't think we can actually jump. I don't know what you call that. <laughs> Press spacebar to give your character a seizure. It didn't help us jump onto anything. Like there's a uh, there's a concrete slab back there, and I couldn't even jump on that, and that was like a foot off the ground. All right. Now it does sound like there's something over here. Hello. I feel like I can see something. Eh, maybe not. We haven't seen the mannequin in a while. Is that the mannequin? Earlier, I could hear whistling, and it sounded like the mannequin was whistling as he was moving away from us. So I assumed it was the mannequin whistling. Oh my god! 
Oh my god! Were we... Did we come from this direction? I think we did. I keep hearing the monster, but we've yet to... We've yet to see it. And I think earlier when we saw that character go sliding by really quick, I think that was a mannequin. It was shaped more like a mannequin than whatever I'm expecting for this monster. He's trying to give you back the cursed tape. Dude, he has nothing in his hands. He ain't trying to give me back shit. No, he doesn't follow me when I'm not looking. That's, that's why I was like, it's not one of those games, which I like. I like that it's not one of those games because I feel like that mechanic is getting overplayed. We see it way too often with mannequins. So this is actually better because it's more subtle. It's creepier. How freaky is that? Don't be surprised if that's the thumbnail for the video. <laughs> All right, so we can go through here. Dude. Dude, that was actually a very impressive scream. Sir, have you ever considered singing in a metal band? I'm hoping that it's not just the... Oh, shit. What's over... No, we can't go that way. Wait, can I jump over that tire? No. That's that's how well the jumping mechanic is in this game. We can't even jump over a tire on the ground. Come on. Come on. Show me something. Where are the monsters at? Huh? Where are the fucking monsters? Mannequins? Really? Is that all you got? Is that the best you can do? Mannequins? Ooh. We have a note. Ooh, not a note. I mean, it's a note, but it's more of an illustration. Blow out the candle? Oh, you got it. Is he protecting us? Wait, wait, what's going on out there? I feel like the mannequin shut us in here to protect us from whatever is making those noises. But I'm a little disappointed because I kind of wanted to see what was happening. Jesus God, dude, where'd he go? Where did he go? He like leaped into that room. All right, I'm still following the screams. Still following the screams. Trying to find the source of misery. We came from that direction, okay. And we can't go that way. I don't think we went this way. I don't think we did. Okay. Uh, crouch. Okay. Well, what's interesting is that we keep seeing those mannequins and they look... This is like a human head, but it doesn't look far off from the mannequins. So maybe the mannequins are... I mean, maybe they were. Maybe they were people. And those people were then turned into mannequins. All right, all right, left control. Get out of my fucking face. I'll crouch when I'm good and ready. Which is now. Right. Dude, okay, we made it outside, I think. I mean, the only evidence that we're outside is this tree right here. Everything else looks the same. Sir, is everything okay? All right, so the screaming stopped. God, oh, oh my God. 
shake my hand? Put her there, pal. Pound it. I thought that one was breathing. Something's breathing. Where the fuck is this monster at? Swole. It was you the whole time. You are the monster. You are the cause of all of this. Oh, dude, we found that guy's... Uh, <laughs> it's not a Honda Accord. It's a... Serial killer van. Can't go that way. Nothing on this dude. Come on. Come on, show yourself. Show yourself to me. Dude, whatever this monster is, it better look cool as fuck. All right, I've reached a crossroads. Dude, world's dimmest flashlight. All right. All right, we're going to check out the moaning situation, and then we'll go back to the van. Uh, uh. All right, the moaning stopped. See, the thing is, there's a lot to look at, a lot to explore. But, there's not a whole lot to see. Like, it would be cool if all this stuff was interactive. Like, they all, like, you know, they were items for puzzles and stuff. Uh, are those eyes? What is that? It's hard to say. All right, I feel like I'm getting too far away. Let me go back. Let me go back to that cargo van because there was like a, a step down and there were some noises in front of it. It's kind of scary that I can't run. Like I'm holding shift to run out of instinct, but it doesn't actually do anything. All right. Now, was there anything over here? Cause there was like noises and shit. It sounded like a girl talking. No. I can't open the van. Nobody in the van. Nobody above the van. This game kind of reminds me a little bit, like parts of it reminds me of like, welcome to Kowloon. And this is also a dead end, okay. Like, this game would be awesome for, like, like, oh, oh, we need this item. Oh, here we go. Here, here's the cog I need for that one puzzle over here that lowers the chain that unlocks this. Like, there's not, a, there's none of that in this game. It's literally just walking around, but it's fine. The tone is really good. There's just a lot more they could do. As a fan of puzzles, not everybody likes puzzles like that. But I could definitely see a lot of good puzzles added to this. All right, we're heading over towards those glowing red eyes. Or it could be an exit sign. Or a keypad. <laughs> I still don't know for sure who's whistling. I don't know if it's the mannequins or... I don't know. Want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> My father was graffiti. All right. So first things first. One, two, three, four. Damn it. Seven, 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 seven. 
Okay. Guys, I tried. I, I gave it everything I had. That's actually pretty badass. I don't know if that's supposed to be the Joker. Definitely looks like the Joker. Six, nine, six, nine. I'm not putting any more time into that until we find the actual number. So I guess we have to go back. Yeah, how do we get over there? Oh, shit. All right, so I'm guessing the code. Is the Joker in this? Dude, what if like this well-crafted horror game has the Joker as the main villain? You guys, you guys good? Thank you for clearing the way. <laughs> Staff only. Oh, which way? Oh, this way? Okay, cool. Thank you. What the hell is that? Oh, shit. Yeah, dude. Like, the, the mannequins are slowly evolving. Oh, look, guys. He's making hand puppets. Oh, how cute. This is a dinosaur. Rawr. But, uh, look... <laughs> Look at this. So again, I'm not sure if the mannequins are turning into people or the people are turning into mannequins. But yeah, that's that's the closest to a human mannequin hybrid that we've seen. Ah, oh, God. Who left all these stains on the floor? Weren't we already in here? Uh, okay. So one plus one is two. What is that though? Oh, that's the glow stick, right? Oh, so number, then one plus one is two. And then number, number. Okay, so two is the second number. And now, uh, okay. I don't know exactly which order the numbers are going to be other than two being the second number. Ah! Oh! Dude, I, we keep hearing screams and moans and all kinds of no. I didn't think anything was going to come at us. I, I wasn't, dude, I was just like, oh, cool. More screams in the distance. Okay, guys, uh, order of operations. Who the fuck? That's the van. All right. Boop, boop, boop. 41. 41 times 2. All right, so 82. But... Oh, oh no, 1. Okay, so 1. Wait, 82? How is 82... 82 is not the first number. We need a single digit answer. The first two numbers. Well, the other one was two. So the second number is two. The first number is 82. We might have to go check that out again. I don't know. Maybe once we have all the numbers, it'll make sense. Uh, Damn, dude. Oh, here we go. Oh my God. Dude, are we finally gonna see something? Dude, so much noise. But we've yet to see anything other than... Other than, uh... Well, 
Oh, here we go. Okay, so one plus two is three. Three times 20 is 60. 60 plus nine minus six, that's nine. Okay, so the third number is nine. Get the fuck out, man! Hey. Hey, do you need a seat? Can I help you? You look like you need to take a load off. So three is nine. Three is nine. This is the way we came in. There was another. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, hey buddy. Cool. Thanks for the heads up. Yo, this motherfucker, man. Okay, so... Th two? Two is two, right? Three was... No, no, no. What was the first? Whatever. Fuck it. Um, Three was nine. Four? Oh, this is four. Three minus one times two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is four. Two is four. But on the first, when we first saw the message, I'm going to go back to that original room, if I can find it, uh, and just take a look at that board and, and see if it makes sense. First one was just instructions. Okay. I just want to look at it one more time. Here it is. See, I thought we, we got one of the answers here. I thought I thought two was the answer, but you're right. It doesn't give us any. Okay, so eight, two. Uh, eight, two, nine, four. I, f I forget the other, I forget the order of the other numbers. <laughs> I, for I forget what they were. Eight, two, four, nine. All right, uh, eight, two, four, nine. Okay. Oh man, they took our glow stick. A door to a door. To another door. Alright guys, it's time to get some answers. Find out who's turning people into mannequins. Oh my god, dude. Okay. I'm I'm bracing for it. Cause this door wasn't open. We turned around, we heard the squeaky noise. I'm bracing for it. Okay. I'm actually shocked because I was definitely expecting a jump scare. Well, that's creepy. Give him a hand. Alright, we cannot... Oh, we can. We can. We cannot light candles. Oh my god, dude! Look at that baby's face! That baby's seen some shit. Well, okay. Does anybody have any matches? Hey, you got any matches on you? Hey, hey, buddy. You got any matches? Do you have any matches? Oh, shit. What if I had to pick that candle up back there and then use that to light these ones? Oh, never mind. This door's open now. Okay. Still no sign of the monster. All right, so we have spiky hair doll. That's the one behind the door. I did see that. So we need, uh, it looks like spiky hair voodoo doll. And I don't know how to describe that last one. Spiky hair. That This one here, that's number one. Okay. 
Voodoo doll? Oh, that's... Oh, shit! How... How'd you get over there? What the fuck, man? That's the most we've seen him move. We, we've seen another one moving a little bit, but not like that. He's jamming out. Oh. Did he, was he holding on the eyeballs before? God, man. Uh, I don't see those other dolls anywhere. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Someone knocked on this door right here. Well, what, dude, what the fuck, man? We found one doll. And I don't think there was any other. Yeah. Oh, what's that? There he is. That's the third doll. We still need to find the voodoo doll. Not now. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, there it is. All right, we found the voodoo doll. All right, so this is number three, okay? Voodoo doll was back here. And then according to that paper, the bookshelf should slide away. Good. He's like, Psst, over here. I want to help you. What's he holding? Is that a camcorder? What is that? It is. Dude, we got a cameraman. We got a cameraman. They're all cameramen. Eighteen eighty nine. Remember that just in case. Help me. Help me. Dude. Uh, hold on. There we go. Oh my god. I was fucking stuck. He had me in a bear hug. I was I was in between his arms. Wow. Okay, how fucking cool does that look? Yeah, so many camcorders. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just fishing for a thumbnail. Okay. En enough of this, guys. Enough of these shenanigans. We got to move on. All right, so remember in the beginning of the game where we were in the menu screen and someone slid the tape under the door and then we watched the tape? We are playing as the person that slid the tape under the door, so it's like a loop. Hey, guys, here's a tape. Let's see what's on it. I hope it's not scary. I hope it's not a movie about mannequins turning into people. That would suck. Oh, dude, I I thought it was like a fade to black. I thought the game was over. No, I still have the tape. Oh, dude, this was made by just Tom Cuck. I didn't know that. I can't remember. Oh. We've, we played other games by Tom Cuck. I think we've had Tom Cuck in the chat. 
All right, so now we follow the arrows. Okay, where's it taking us? Oh, man. I'm not ready for it to end. That was cool, though, that it, it brought us back into a little loop. We never did see the whatever the fucking monster was. All right, guys. Well, this is it. The end. Is it done? Yeah, that's it. What more do you want? It's indie horror.